All right, welcome back to Lunch of the Market. Wow, what a gift we got this morning thanks to the Steve Jobs announcement out of Apple yesterday. The stock was down about $18 yesterday trading internationally and hit a low today in the U.S. markets down about $16. Since then, Apple has been absolutely nothing but a trampoline uh, back to, you know, it's fighting. It's only, it's down less than $6 now as of where we write this. Uh, thankfully, on the open, we sent out a Twitter message to let you guys know that we would be starting selling spreads. Um, and we basically spent the entire morning selling either A, the 325, 320 put spread that expires on fr Friday, and then in other accounts where we really couldn't take the chance that Apple would see another down day, we sold the 320, 315 put spreads. Uh, the 320s, 315s that we sold for a buck are now worth about 50 cents, and the 325, 320s that we sold are now worth about 75 cents. It's been an amazing morning. Um, this is basically what we wait for, right? We let the market tell us what the trade is rather than trying to trade ahead of the market and um, you know, basically try to use a crystal ball. The other thing that we did do today, which is a little gutsy, uh, Cree has been fighting right around that $64 level. They report after the close. Some of you may have caught, we didn't publicize it, but we did uh, put out this weekend a research report. It's about 12 pages on Cree. Um, I'll let you know where that gets published. Um, and then we also did like a, an abbreviated uh, visual, I guess you could say, version of it on the YouTube channel. So for those of you who are checking the channel this weekend, uh, it's out there somewhere. So uh, check that out if you get a chance. Uh, but we do think that Cree, Cree, for the past two years, Cree has turned in better than expected earnings every single quarter for the last two years. So eight quarters in a row. Uh, you know, there's always a chance that this will be the quarter that they miss. Um, the market definitely is trading that way, especially after ticker symbol LEDS, uh, which we do evaluate in that research report that came out this weekend, that we put out this weekend. Um, that stock reported weakness in pricing. The entire space traded down. Vico Instruments, VECO, has been the strongest of all the players um, that have basically on the bounce back from the sell-off in the space. Uh, Cree reports again today after the close. We remain bullish. I think the more that we looked into the company, the more that we talked with people at the company in preparation for our report, the, the more obvious it was that their lighting sector is the future for them. Um, they're basically wanting to be the Apple of um, LED lighting, right? Uh, versus an Intel of LED lighting. Intel makes products, ships them off to somebody else to put in their final product. Uh, Apple, obviously, they have the operating environment, they have the software, they have the app store, and they have the finished product, the hardware. So I think Cree really has an opportunity to uh, take over the space. And again, we've done several uh, Lunch of the Markets featuring Cree. So go back, check them out, type in MO Financial plus the ticker symbol CREE, -E, right? Just type those two phrases into uh, the YouTube search bar and you're going to get all kinds of stuff. Uh, but there's a the phasing out of the incandescent light bulbs in the United States starts in 2012 and ends by January 1st, 2014. We actually pulled the um, it's not, it wasn't a congressional mandate. It was part of an energy bill that got passed uh, that basically right on page 77 or something uh, was hidden in there. Anyway, check out the report if you get a chance. There's lots of good stuff in there. But we did sell the 6560 put spreads in Cree, even though they're in the money. The other thing that we did this morning when the stock was actually down about a buck, uh, we sold the 6055 put spreads for this month. So, you know, we'll see the 6560s. We're going to need earnings to be fantastic to see the stock trade up a buck by Friday. If not, of course, uh, we'll roll down and out. Speaking of rolling down and out, MCP, which is Molly Corp. That name has been hideous. Uh, probably, you know, will end up being the worst trade of 2011. Although, if it goes anything like Goldman Sachs did last year, it'll end up by the end of the year becoming the best trade of 2011, right, for us. So we we were short um, 50, 45 put spreads. We were short 47, 42 put spreads. We were short 46, 41 put spreads. Needless to say, we were short lots of January put spreads in. Um, Molly Corp MCP because the stock had fallen from what $61 a share, uh, broke the $50 level and looked like 50 was a nice technical level uh, to get short those spreads. It obviously went against us. It broke through the next level at 46. 
and then of course the next level is down there at the $40 level. So we'll see. Uh, we've got a nice healthy size position in uh, our short February 45-40 put spreads. We basically took all those spreads that we were short in January and just rolled them down and out. Obviously in almost all cases except for I think the 47 40 two put spreads that we were short in all other cases like the 48s the 49s the 50s we had to increase the position size to roll down and out so we are now short February 45 40 put spreads in uh, Molly Corp thankfully last week we actually sold some 50 55 call spreads uh, last week when the uh, you know looked like it passed the point of no return those should expire worthless we're probably going to continue to sell call spreads somewhere around that fifty or sixty dollar level depending on premium if we can see the stock bounce on a day um, we'll probably sell those call spreads as well to kind of you know it's almost like an iron condor right we're gonna try to take both sides of the trade inevitably only one side of the trade can be wrong and then over the year we'll get ourselves to profitability all right, so rolling down and out on Molly Corp. Uh, we've got those Cree put spreads that we sold on the open. I don't know what kind of premium you can get for them now. The stock's only down, uh, actually it's up 19 cents. So, and there's only three days left uh, until options expiration, right? Wednesday, Thursday, and then Friday is options expiration. So we, we are still short some of those Deckers 80, 75 put spreads. Again, the stock is within 40 cents or so. Um, of the $80 level and the stock was actually north of 80 at certain points during the day today so we're gonna press our luck a little bit with Decker's DECK and then again if um, if you get another flush on Apple it's unlikely at this point depending on earnings uh, but it's basically a race to the finish right we're betting that no matter what happens to the stock it's gonna stay above 325 by uh, expiration. Hopefully you caught that Twitter message. Obviously that was the most timely thing that we could give to you. It's not terribly helpful to tell you about the Apple put spreads again today other than to say that when you see opportunity in the markets like a $16 move in Apple in one day, um, there's really nothing else on our screen right now, but you know when you see absolutely massive moves in a day, right, where most of the damage is done in a single day, think about Visa, right? We also let you guys know about uh, Visa when it broke the $70 level on the Durban interchange fees, right? The Federal Reserve had a meeting about it. The stock lost $10 a share in one day, which is a better than 10% loss. On, on Visa at the time, and then we sold the 6560 put spreads. Those will expire on Friday completely worthless. So, you know, be set up, always have cash, be watching the markets. The best moves happen intraday, uh, and, you know, have a little courage. So, right, that may have been the best lesson that Jim Cramer has taught us this year is that, you know, you're going to need to have a little courage sometimes to make a little money. Best thing about being short option spreads is that you have the opportunity to roll, roll them out, roll them down and out, as we did with Molly Corp today. Thanks again for tuning in. Um, go ahead and find out that uh, research report somewhere on the web if you're interested in playing Cree. I think it's a terrific company. There's a lot of fundamental reasons to like the company. Vico Instruments really looks attractive from a valuation perspective. All of that's in the report. Thanks again for tuning in, and we'll see you tomorrow.